Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with MasterCode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our tutorials. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and look at the starts with string method. So basically, we're going to use the starts with string method to check if a string starts with a certain prefix. All right, so let's get started and take a look at how this all works. Uh, we're going to create uh, a variable A to represent a string, and we'll say uh, MasterCode Online. Whoa, like that. All right, and then we're going to say a dot starts with, and we'll say master. All right, so we want to see if this string starts with master, and it does. Cool. So, what it does is it takes our prefix and checks the beginning of the string to see if it matches that. Um, and then let's see here, um, let's take a look at another example. We'll go ahead and bring up the last string that we just created. And a dot starts with, starts with, man, I'm having trouble typing right now. Uh, lowercase master to show you that it is case sensitive and we get false, all right? So the starts with string method is uh, lowercase sensitive or case sensitive, I should say. Uh, also, the starts with starts with string method takes a start index and an end index. So let's go ahead and take a look at the start index. We'll bring up master code online again. A dot starts with, and this time we'll say um, code. All right, because we're going to go ahead and start right here, and that would be the seventh index position. So we'll go ahead and hit return. True. All right. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple more examples. Uh, this time we're going to use the uh, starting point and the ending point or ending index positions. A dot starts with. And we'll go ahead and do uh, code again. And I just want to show you a couple examples here. So we're going to go ahead and do 7, comma 11. And we get true. All right. And we'll do the same thing. We'll take and make it 12. Same thing. It's true. All right. So it doesn't matter what the end is. As long as it finds the pre prefix, it's going to return true. All right. I don't know exactly where 11 is, but it's somewhere over here and 12 is over there too. Um, same thing if we did uh, 13, still going to return true. And how about if we did uh, 10? All right. Now 10 is right here, right here, I believe. Hit return and we get false. All right. So as long as there's enough room for the prefix to be found, it would be it will return true. Now, if we provide an ending index and there's not enough room for that prefix in there, it's going to return false. So, if you guys have any questions, head over to mastercode.online. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial.